Just 16 days before he defends the World Heavyweight Championship at SummerSlam, Drew McIntyre is live in your main event tonight against the young and hungry Braun Breaker. A lot of history between these two heavyweights. They are going to lock horns later tonight, live from the State Farm Arena here in Atlanta, Georgia. And we kick things off tonight. With the number one contender for the United States Championship. And the man who will try to dethrone the undefeated ring general Guther in just 16 nights at SummerSlam. Cody Rhodes back in his stomping grounds of Hotlanta. Set to lock horns with one half of Alpha Academy and what should be an exciting contest to kick things off on Friday Night SmackDown. Cody looks locked and loaded as he prepares for Gunther in less than two weeks. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! Getting a little ahead of myself there, just over two weeks until Cody Rhodes heads into Levi Stadium. But SummerSlam shaping up to be one hell of a night in San Francisco, California on the 20th of August. And that man, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, outlasted four others in a five-man elimination just a few weeks ago. And it's a rematch all Cody Rhodes waited for all summer. He will get Gunther one-on-one -on -one for the United States Championship at SummerSlam. Dolph Ziggler, Robert Roode, Mustafa Ali, and Braun Breaker all falling in the war path of the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes certainly a deserving challenger for the undefeated ring general. But can he get through Alpha Academy's Master Gable here in Atlanta? And his opponent, accompanied by Otis, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad of course, SummerSlam going to be the biggest party yet, and it is coming your way Sunday night, August the 20th, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 16 days away, just over two weeks until we get to Levi Stadium in San Francisco, California. But here we are kicking things off in hot Atlanta on Friday night SmackDown. Cody Rhodes, a little bit of a homecoming tonight, but he's got his hands full with Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. Two former amateur wrestlers, of course, Chad Gable, former NCAA champion as well. This should be a great contest to kick things off as Cody Rhodes looking to build momentum towards that long-awaited rematch against Gunther. The American Nightmare suffering that loss back in June at Super SmackDown, choked out by the ring general himself. Cody Rhodes has not forgotten. He was chomping at the bit to get another opportunity. And of course, earned that in the five-man elimination challenge just a few weeks back. Will he be able to capitalize on the opportunity? We'll find out at SummerSlam. Chad Gable with an opportunity of his own tonight as he takes on the number one contender. A win for Chad Gable here could certainly put Alpha Academy's master in line for a future United States Championship opportunity regardless of who leaves SummerSlam with the red, white, blue, and gold. We're still to come tonight in Atlanta, as you saw at the top of the hour. Drew McIntyre, Braun Breaker, two men with a lot of history with each other. A lot of bad blood, if I say so myself, between the blue chipper Braun Breaker and the world heavyweight champion Drew McIntyre. Those two men one-on-one -on -one later tonight here on Friday Night SmackDown. Chad Gable right now looking for one of the biggest wins of his SmackDown career. Gable's been a guy who's been on the up and up over the last few months. We have seen Chad Gable stand toe to toe with some of the best of them here on SmackDown, including the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre a few months ago. Gable almost beat McIntyre back in April in the main event of Friday night. Tonight, he very well be coming up with a victory against the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes has been so motivated, only suffering two losses since his WWE return. That was, of course, the night of the return. Back at WrestleMania where he lost to the man who will challenge Drew McIntyre at SummerSlam, Austin Theory. Of course, that's saying Cody Rhodes seek, seek, seeking vengeance, excuse me. And eventually got those victories back over Austin Theory. Now he's looking to do the same 
against Gunther. And not only get that victory back at SummerSlam, but also win the championship, the United States Championship, a title he has never held throughout his great WWE career. All remains to be seen what is going to happen on the 20th of August. SummerSlam going to be a stacked night of action. It's going to be part of a live premiere week here on the channel. It all kicks off August the 14th, Monday Night Raw from Las Vegas, Nevada at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And we're heading to Sacramento, California for Friday Night SmackDown, another 5 p.m. Eastern Time live premiere. And of course, SummerSlam going to be on the 20th in Levi Stadium, 5 p.m. Eastern Time as well. And of course, Cody Rhodes with that matchup coming up against Gunther for the United States Championship. But wait a minute, Cody to the outside. Tope Suicida takes out Gable. As Cody ups the ante, and the brawl gets taken to ringside here in the State Farm Arena. Oh, Cody Rhodes, look at this. Sit down, powerbomb at ringside as well. I was about to mention the fourth and final installment of that live premiere week is just a number of days away. Of course, Saturday, August the 19th, we are heading to the Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan, New York to kick off the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic. An eight-week tournament that's going to kick off, as we mentioned, on the 19th of August. And later tonight on SmackDown, the 16-man bracket will be revealed for the Cruiserweight Classic, so stay tuned. And not wait to get to SummerSlam week. Just a matter of days, but we've got some great action on hand. Tonight in Hot Atlanta, former home of WrestleMania, not too far from here at the Georgia Dome. But Chad Gable looking to make a name for himself under the bright lights of Atlanta tonight. Crossface locked in. Almost dead center of the squared circle, but Cody Rhodes is going to roll out of it. Nice reversal there by the American Nightmare. Oh, overhand chop. Cody Rhodes certainly has felt a lot of those in his career. Most certainly, both those chops by the hands of Gunther. Back at Super SmackDown in Washington, D.C. Gable looking for the victory tonight, not just yet. I don't wonder what's going through. Cody Rhodes' mind tonight. Is he looking past Chad Gable? Is he so laser focused on running it back with Gunther at SummerSlam? And is he going to misstep in this matchup and allow Chad Gable to take advantage? Possibly give Chad Gable a much needed huge victory here on SmackDown. All remains to be seen. Did not allow Chad Gable to take advantage of any misstep, but Cody Rhodes almost got caught again. Luckily, saved by the ropes there. Gable is going for the cross face, but can't pull out too many of the same tricks. Against a veteran of the squared circle like Cody Rhodes. As he takes down Gable there, nice maneuver. Cody trying to get back into this matchup. Some solid offense by Gable. Definitely did a number on the American Nightmare. Not enough to keep him down just yet. A number one contender for the United States Championship. Not looking to see his momentum derailed. Another overhand shot. Gable eating the left, eating the rights of Cody Rhodes tonight here on SmackDown. To the outside, Gable needs a breather, but Cody Rhodes is feeling it in his hometown. Hot Lana all over there, boy, and Cody Rhodes. Gable taking advantage. Look at this, he's trying to out-wrestle Cody Rhodes tonight. We mentioned the former amateur background of both of these men. Come well, on, Gable. Same misstep that time. Taking a moment to soak it in here in Atlanta, and Cody Rhodes going to take advantage in front of his hometown crowd. Oh, wait a minute. Speaking of taking advantage, Alpha Academy looking to take advantage of the numbers. Otis at ringside looking to take Cody Rhodes' eye off the ball. And it pays him dividends as Chad Gable now coming from behind. Always got to watch when he got that extra man at ringside. Cody Rhodes trying to avoid it. Chad Gable just ragdolling the American Nightmare a bit right now. Putting him in position to succeed. And a belly to belly suplex by Gable. And Chad Gable may be closing in on a huge victory tonight in the State Farm Arena. A Cody Rhodes giving him a little bit of that classic gold dust offense. Make it a dose, so look at this, make it three. Cody Rhodes, couple of uppercuts, maybe enough to get the victory here, not just yet. Trying to knock Chad Gable's wits about him out of arm's way, if you will. Dropping the knee. The uppercut's running off, but maybe a bare knee. The chrome dome of Master Gable will do the trick. I'm sure the ring general, Gunther, is watching on in this matchup, scouting his opponent, a man he has been in the ring with before. He has defeated before, but you never know. Cody Rhodes, as we have mentioned, 
Certainly the man who came the closest to defeating Guther so far for that United States Championship. He may have come up short, but he gave the ring general a run for his money back in June in Washington, D.C. Guther knows that. And he knows he's going to have to bring his A game in Levi Stadium to beat Cody Rhodes yet again. Cody Rhodes has seen what Gunther has done, all the names he has turned away, including himself. AJ Styles, Bobby Lashley, Wesley, Rey Mysterio, just to name a few in the reign of Gunther as United States Champion. Cody Rhodes is going to have to bring the best, and so is the champion. Right now, Cody's got to stay focused on Chad Gable, who's looking to take advantage of the opportunity tonight and put his name in the hat for a future United States Championship opportunity. Looking for the triple verticals here. Down he goes, into the cover. Will that do it? And he almost got Cody Rhodes, but Cody able to muscle up and get that kick out. Chad Gable thought he had him there, but Cody Rhodes still with his heart pumping and the will to succeed. Certainly a close call nonetheless, and Cody Rhodes trapped in the corner. And Chad Gable could be looking to bring this thing to a close. There's the roll. Down goes Cody, off the German, into the cover. Oh, and how close was that? Chad Gable almost picking up the upset over the American Nightmare tonight on SmackDown. A close call there, but Chad Gable throwing his best shot at Cody Rhodes. And Cody is still fighting, still with blood pumping in the veins, not looking to see his momentum on the road to SummerSlam derailed, and here, comes the American Nightmare. Oh, but Otis is on the apron again, trying to take Cody Rhodes' eye off the ball. But Chad Gable coming from behind. Cody Rhodes cannot allow the numbers game to derail him tonight. It's a reversal, but there's another shot. Chad Gable is staying on the offense. Cody Rhodes is stuck between a rock and a hard place in your opening match on SmackDown. And a disrespect by Master Gable who wants to see this Atlanta crowd go silent in front of their hometown band. Gable going to the top of Cody Rhodes. Following him there, trying to make sure things are not going to go the way of Alpha Academy tonight. Cody Rhodes has got to look at this matchup as a chance to send him a message to the United States Champion as well. A victory tonight, excuse me, could certainly put some worry in the mind of the ring general. Cody's got to keep this momentum going. Got to stay with a foot on the gas pedal. Gable really controlled the last few minutes. Cody's just starting to mount a comeback. But once again, Otis not going to allow it. And Chad Gable sneaks up from behind. The numbers game may be the detriment to the American Nightmare. Wait a minute. Crossroads. Cody Rhodes going for the kill. And looking to send a message to the United States champion. Cody Rhodes with the numbers against him. Outlast Chad Gable here tonight and picks up a monumentous victory, building some much needed momentum in a matchup of such high proportions in Levi Stadium on the 20th of August at SummerSlam. Here is your winner. Cody Rhodes with his hand raised high tonight. But will he be the new United States Champion? Cody Rhodes, Gunther, round two on the 20th of August for the United States Championship at SummerSlam. Are we looking at the next United States Champion? In 2016, the landscape of WWE was altered when the best wrestlers from around the globe at 205 pounds and under gathered on common ground and fought to earn the ultimate spotlight. Now, we do it all over again, starting on Saturday afternoon, August the 19th, 16 of the best cruiserweights in all of WWE will compete in an eight week eliminator to determine a future challenger for gold and to decide who is the best in the world. It's the 2023 WWE Cruiserweight Classic Tournament, and it all begins on the 19th of August.
It is the highly anticipated eight-week tournament, the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic. And it all begins at 3 p.m. on Saturday, August the 19th from Manhattan, New York in the Hammerstein Ballroom. Let's take a look now at the 16 men that have been signed for this tournament. Several superstars from SmackDown, Monday Night Raw, and even NXT. You see the lights of Nathan Frazier is going to be making his debut from the NXT brand. Tyler Bate and former Intercontinental Champion Ilya Dragunov representing Monday Night Raw making their way to Manhattan, New York to participate in this tournament. Former Cruiserweight Champions such as Rey Mysterio, Angel Garza, and more. It is going to be a stacked lineup. The 16 men have been revealed. The Cruiserweight Classic begins on the 19th of August. But as for tonight here on SmackDown, it is time for tag team action. And these two men, Eric and Ivar, made a statement last week when they defeated the Mysterio family, Dominic and Ray. And Eric and Ivar looking to continue to run through every team here on Friday Night SmackDown, including their opponents tonight. Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows, the OC are in the house. Undefeated since their return to Friday nights. But will the Viking Raiders knock Anderson and Gallows off their high horse live here in the State Farm Arena? And their opponents, accompanied by AJ Styles, at a combined weight of 505 pounds. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the well, last week on SmackDown, things not going so hot for the phenomenal AJ Styles either as he picked up a loss against the Apex Predator Randy Orton. But fortunately for the OC, as we mentioned, Gallows and Anderson undefeated since their SmackDown return a few months ago. Machine Gun Anderson and the big LG Luke Gallows are going to continue that momentum and bring some good mojo to the OC locker room, but certainly not an easy task standing in front of them. You saw the war path that Eric and Ivar left upon that squared circle last week. The Viking Raiders, the OC, set the lock horns and quite frankly a matchup that could very well determine who's going to be next in line for the WWE World Tag Team Championships over on Monday Night Raw. Of course, the Judgment Day, Finn Balor and Damian Priest hold the gold. They do reside on the red brand, but those championships universal here in the WWE. And Ivar out of the gate, taking the fight to the big LG. Gallo is getting the shoulder up, but do not look away for a moment. It's like letting two bulls out of their cages and full head of steam for Ivar and Luke Gallows tonight. Viking Raiders, we talked about it last week, but ever since they lost the Tag Team Championships all the way last year at SummerSlam, these two men have been trying and trying again to get back in the ranks to become champions yet again. They've had a few opportunities, unfortunately coming up short, but... A little bit of a new look, a little bit of a new attitude. Last week we saw the accompany of Valhalla in their corner. So some new brains for the Viking Raiders as well. You gotta wonder if they are finally starting to put the pieces together to become number one contenders and have another shot at the championship. All remains to be seen. Gallows and Anderson on the other hand, undefeated since their SmackDown return. And they're looking to add some championship gold to their already very impressive careers. They have won championships all around the world, from the U.S. all the way to Japan. And they're looking to do so again here in the WWE. The Viking Raiders, on the other hand, got something to say about that. Eric, now the legal man, for the Viking half of the ring, delivering that knee to the big LG. Bringing the fight to Luke Gallows, who was in trouble. It's not very often you see Luke Gallows in this predicament, being manhandled, in a sense, by his opponent. Gallows not want to step down from a fight. Full head of steam. A look at Gallows here, muscling up Eric, who is no light. Man, and what a slam. Dead center of the ring. Into the cover. That may be all she wrote for the Viking Raiders tonight. A close call for the OC. Not able to get the W just yet. Nice comeback by Luke Gallows nonetheless. As Eric and Ivar are really controlling things since the opening bell. Of course, we saw the tag team champions of WWE, Finn Balor and Damian Priest in action this past Monday Night Raw. Dominating victory against the debuting Hit Row. Nonetheless, Carl Anderson getting tagged in, and we mentioned the tag team champions. You gotta believe they have their eyes on every single time there's a 2v2 matchup. 
whether it's on Raw or SmackDown. And that includes the OC versus the Viking Raiders. They know these are two teams that have been heating up as of late and could very well be two teams coming up to the Tag Team Championship. Ivar gets tagged in, but the Machine Gun's got something to say about it. Only a one count there. It is never an easy task to keep, to keep the behemoth of the Viking Raiders off his feet for long. Carl Anderson, not only a decorated tag team superstar, but a man who has held singles championships as well. Former never overweight champion all the way in Japan, and so many more accolades on Machine Gun Carl Anderson's list. Taking the fight to Ivar. A little bit of that strong style coming out of Carl Anderson tonight as he tags in Luke Gallows. Now the OC is starting to work a little bit like the well-oiled machine. Starting to do what they do best. Get some fresh legs in the matchup. And there's the strength out of Gallows again. The strength of Gallows, the strikes of Anderson. Just two of the reasons that have made them so successful throughout their careers. Again, only... Very few men are going to be able to manhandle Ivar like that. You're seeing Luke Gallows perform those actions before our very eyes, but Ivar takes him off his feet. Just throwing his body at him like a weapon in itself. And now into the cover. Searching for victory all the way from Valhalla, but there's a kick out. Anderson breaking things up as well, but now Eric's in there. Things starting to break down in this tag team match here in Atlanta. Gallows and Anderson recently picked up a win against Los Lotharios. As we mentioned, Viking Raiders last week defeating the Mysterios here on SmackDown. Luke Gallows has got Ivar in the corner as things are breaking down at ringside. Look at the strength. It's like Hogan and Andre in 2023. Not able to keep Ivar down, but Luke Gallows, the strength out of that man. I don't know if it's pure muscle or a couple of brewski muscles, but nonetheless, he got Ivar up and certainly sent him for a ride. And here's Ivar coming off the top, dropping the hammer. Business is picking up in this tag team matchup here tonight in State Farm Arena. And Atlanta is loving it from bell to bell so far. These teams certainly not wasted any motion tonight. They've been throwing live rounds since the opening bell. And Ivar getting out. At least trying to fight out from the OC corner. Luke Gallows says otherwise. Into the cover. Might be a rope break there. I don't know if the referee's got it, but also Eric in there to break things up. And once again, things starting to break down in this contest. Carl Anderson taking Eric to the outside. Luke Gallows and Ivar making their way to ringside. Referee's got to gain some composure in this tag team matchup here tonight. Gallows back inside of the ring. We got it. Never mind. Gallows going after Eric, trying to get him off the back of Carl Anderson. Luke Gallows and Ivar are the legal men. Meanwhile, Anderson and Ivar are going at it. And there goes Anderson off the apron. Chaos and disorder in this tag team bout tonight on SmackDown. Ivar still the legal men. Luke, Luke Gallows, at least starting to make his way back inside the squared circle. Wait a minute. Look at this. Gallows. My goodness, the strength off that slam. And that's going to do it. The OC continue to be undefeated here on Friday nights. What a matchup. We said it before, we'll say it again. They were throwing live rounds since the opening bell. No love loss between the OC and the Viking Raiders. But only two men were going to walk away with their heads raised high tonight. And that's Gallows and Anderson, the original club on SmackDown. Here are your winners, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, the OC. Smells like number one contendership for me remains to be seen, but the OC picking up a victory tonight in Hotlanta on SmackDown. It is a week of live premieres, and it all begins on the 14th of August with Monday Night Raw from Las Vegas. We head to Sacramento on the 18th for Friday Night SmackDown. Manhattan, New York, as the Cruiserweight Classic begins at 3 p.m. Eastern on August the 19th. And then, of course, Sunday night, August the 20th, lead by Stadium. It is SummerSlam, and what a card signed thus far for the biggest party yet. Signed just a few days ago, the Rated R Superstar set the lock horns with the Viper, Randy Orton. So much history, so much bad blood. These two men destined to fight forever. The story continues on the 20th.
You want to talk about some bad blood? Look no further than these two Monday Night Raw superstars. The prize fighter Kevin Owens, the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar, no holds barred. It is being called the money fight in the women's division. The Empress of Tomorrow earning her number one contendership. She will battle the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, for the WWE Women's Championship of the World. The United States Championship from Friday Night SmackDown on the line is the man you saw victorious earlier this evening. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes looks to take down the undefeated ring general Gunther for the red, white, blue, and gold at SummerSlam. Friday Night SmackDown's main event featuring the 2023 King of the Ring winner, Austin Theory, as he battles the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, for the World Heavyweight Championship. It is Monday Night Raw's main event for SummerSlam, and it is a fatal four-way match for the WWE title as Matt Riddle defends against Karrion Cross, Bobby Lashley, and the franchise John Cena. Four Raw All-Stars locked horns in the main event of Levi Stadium. And as for tonight on SmackDown, one half of the women's tag team champions, Katana Chance, looking to topple the WWE Women's Champion, who is full steam ahead towards a matchup with Asuka on the 20th of August. Shayna Baszler is live and in person here at State Farm Arena. And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the WWE Women's Champion, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. SummerSlam will be live on the 20th of August at 5 p.m. Eastern time, and this woman the dominating, intimidating queen of spades, Shayna Baszler, won the championship back at King of the Ring in June, has already successfully defended it against the woman she defeated originally, Liv Morgan. But now, a big time fight. A match that is being called the money fight against Monday Night Raw's Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, who's looking to regain the gold that she lost to Liv Morgan back in May. Asuka and Shayna Baszler, two of the toughest women, two of the most dominating women to ever step foot inside a squared circle anywhere in the world. And those two women gonna lock horns once and for all at SummerSlam. And what really feels like a main attraction fight. Two of the best of the best in the women's division. Asuka, somebody who ruled the entire division for upwards of a year. Shayna Baszler, who's taken the division by storm since joining Friday Night SmackDown. What a match it's going to be at SummerSlam. Already Katana Chance off the opening bell, trying to make the most of her opportunity tonight. One-on-one -on -one with Shayna Baszler. One half of the women's tag team champions is Katana Chance. You see Caden Carter at ringside. And Katana clearly looking to make some noise tonight here in Atlanta. She's got Shayna Baszler. High in the sky, what has Katana Chance got in mind? This match just getting started, but off the top rope from Katana Chance to Shayna Baszler with the Spanish fly. And only a one count there. But already, Hot Lana coming unglued for this matchup between Baszler and Katana Chance. Chance knows the opportunity at stake. Looking to put some respect on the name of not just her, but as well as her tag team partner. I'm going to talk about no waste in motion. Katana Chance just blades of glory off the opening bell. And still going for it off the Tornado DDT. Shayna Baszler does not know what hit her right now. The Queen of Spades is dominating as they come. Is trying to get back into this matchup, but she might have just did it. Send a chance. Oh, wow. Right to the outside. Katana Chance might have just pissed off the Queen of Spades. Coming out so hot in this matchup, but now Shayna Baszler, as this fight spills to the outside of the ring, is looking to make an example out of one half of the women's tag team champions. Do not mess with Shayna Baszler. She has turned away the lights of Nikita Lyons, Zoe Stark, Indy Hartwell, Candice LeRae, I'll bite by countout, Liv Morgan, all just in the last couple of months. Looking to do the same to Katana Chance and certainly send a message to her Monday Night Raw opponent Asuka coming up at SummerSlam. Oh, look at this, Baszler with the knee right into the back of Katana Chance. We're gonna tap out one half of the women's tag team champions tonight, but Chance, so much heart, so much fight in that young woman. Stiff forearm, look at Chance go tonight. There's the opportunity that's at stake. Make some noise for yourself here on SmackDown and possibly line yourself up for a future championship opportunity. Baszler is down and out. His chance is heading to the top. I don't know. 
Shayna Baszler looks rocked to me. Katana Chance may have the champion in a position that we don't see Shayna Baszler in too often. Chance off the top. Hurricane Rana. And will that do it? Looking for the upset, but the rope break. Gonna save Shayna Baszler, at least for the moment. Oh, wait a minute. Look at the size differential there. Shayna Baszler just wrapping up Katana Chance. Karafuda clutch locked in. And even this close from the ropes. Oh, Shayna Baszler's got it in tight. There is nowhere to go. Chance with no choice but to tap out. Well, thanks for coming, Katana Chance. You, you gave this match one hell of an effort, but Shayna Baszler is turning away anybody right now. And the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, may just be a number, another number on the list for Shayna Baszler at SummerSlam. Absolutely I don't want to say dominating, certainly Here's physically imposing appearance by Baszler. Certainly message sent to Asuka. It is the money fight. Shayna versus Asuka one-on-one -on -one for the WWE Women's Championship on August 20th at SummerSlam. Already signed next week on SmackDown, the United States Champion Gunther back in action here on Friday nights as he takes on a returning Dexter Loomis. Should be a great matchup coming your way seven nights from this evening and already signed as well for next week on SmackDown. The King of the Ring winner and the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, Austin Theory, reignites an old rivalry with the rated R Superstar Edge. Things are already looking hot for seven nights from tonight in OKC as the road to SummerSlam continues on SmackDown. But as for tonight here in Atlanta, it is main event time and the World Heavyweight Champion marches towards ringside. He will fight Austin Theory in the middle of Levi Stadium in just 16 days. But tonight McIntyre has got his hands full with a man he knows very well, the blue chipper of the blue brand we have called him a former two-time NXT champion, and certainly a young, hungry son of a bitch, Braun Breaker. You wanna talk about reigniting an old rivalry? Look no further than the collision that is about to take place here on SmackDown. Momentum on the line for McIntyre in this high-stakes main event. Yeah! The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Ayers. Weighing in at 254 pounds, the world heavyweight champion, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre has been on the ride of a lifetime, turning away any and all challengers. 2023 has certainly been the year of the Scottish warrior. Just some of the names he has retained that championship against. John Cena. Ron Breaker himself, Edge, Randy Orton. Of course, defeated Seth Rollins back at WrestleMania to originally win the big gold belt. But Will Austin Theory, the man who lasted four rounds and won the crown of the King of the Ring tournament back in June. One of the young, most hungry superstars in the business today. With so much upside, so much promise. Will Austin Theory be the kryptonite? to Drew McIntyre's reign at the top of the mountain. We will find out at SummerSlam. It's certainly another young and hungry superstar awaits Drew McIntyre tonight. Ron Breaker might have come up short in Money in the Bank a number of weeks ago, but opportunity always rearing its head here on Friday nights as Braun approaches the ring. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds. Braun Breaker! As we mentioned, Braun Breaker, a participant in the Money in the Bank ladder match last month, unfortunately came up short. That briefcase was, of course, won by Seth freaking Rollins, who will make his return for the first time since that live premiere event this coming Monday night on Raw. But Braun Breaker has also had his issues over the last couple of months, very looming kind of under-the-surface issues, if you will, with Dolph Ziggler that, in my eyes, have yet to be settled. Ron and Dolph, their issues date all the way back to NXT, and they really kind of got reignited several months back when Braun Breaker had turned his back on Drew McIntyre. And Dolph Ziggler stepped up to try to keep Braun Breaker or teach him some respect, I should say. 
It obviously did not go Ziggler's way, but then the two men locked horns in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament back in May. And Dolph Ziggler upset Breaker on that night. And Breaker had his, of course, his own situations at hand, focusing on money in the bank, this, that, and the third. But he has sent multiple messages to Dolph Ziggler on Twitter. And of course, rumors around the locker room state that Braun Breaker still wants another crack at the show off. So you gotta wonder if Breaker and Ziggler are gonna lock horns in the near future here on SmackDown. Remains to be seen. Braun Breaker right now trying to take the fight to the world heavyweight champion. He is doing just that. McIntyre knows how tough Breaker is, not underestimating his opponent tonight. You never see McIntyre look past an opponent inside of the ring. There's a reason he is at the top of Friday Night SmackDown, waving the flag of the blue brand as the World Heavyweight Champion. McIntyre has not taken a loss in quite some time. We mentioned just the championship matches he has retained his world title in. The opponents he's made fall at his feet. McIntyre has also picked up numerous wins, non-championship affairs here on SmackDown. We've seen him go through Chad Gable, Jinder Mahal, Robert Roode, the list goes on. McIntyre has turned away some of the best. Looking to do the same to Braun Breaker tonight once again as McIntyre takes things to the sky in the early going. McIntyre not afraid to get his hands dirty. Up and over the top rope and now brings the fight back inside the squared circle where he looks to get the job done. Lateral press by McIntyre, going for the pinfall. And not just yet, got the two count though. Certainly some damage done off that dive to the outside. All 200, almost 80 pounds of McIntyre coming crashing down on the windpipe of Braun Breaker. Not gonna do any man any good. He might not have got the job done. Might not have got the three count. Certainly the damage done as we mentioned. Now the world champion again looking for the pinfall. We'll be looking to just get this matchup done early with tonight. Only 16 nights separate tonight from SummerSlam, and McIntyre knows Austin Theory is not going to be an easy challenge. Not looking past the 26-year-old superstar. Austin Theory won King of the Ring and outlasted some of the best of them. Mustafa Ali, Dolph Ziggler, AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura from Raw. Austin Theory looking to take down Drew McIntyre at SummerSlam. Now Braun Breaker trying to get back into this in your main event tonight. Sending McIntyre for a ride and a big time spine buster by a man who was once a former two-time NXT champion. McIntyre on spaghetti legs and a spear by Breaker. Looking to cut the champion in half. And only a two count there, but a close call by Breaker. Such an opportunity. Oh, wait a minute. McIntyre, small package. We're gonna see the victory, not just yet. Such an opportunity for Braun Breaker tonight. We talked about his recent issues with Dolph Ziggler and some of the opportunities that have passed Breaker by, but certainly a victory over the world champion tonight could propel Braun Breaker into number one contendership. Chris Slam, down goes the champion. Braun Breaker is looking to make some noise here in Atlanta tonight. And into the cover, will that do it? Oh, and a close call again, but Drew McIntyre pops the shoulder off the canvas, and your main event continues. And Braun Breaker is full head of steam tonight, keeping the foot on the gas pedal, the spear, the press slam, all the lefts and rights, not enough to keep McIntyre down just yet. But McIntyre knows he was preparing for a war. Remember, these two men met back in vengeance at May. McIntyre might have won the battle on that night. But Braun Breaker's back for more all these months later. And you see Drew McIntyre knocked Breaker to the outside and elected not to follow him to ringside. I think the world champion was looking for a moment of breather in there after the onslaught by Breaker a few moments ago. McIntyre playing the smart game in this matchup. It's another reason why he is world heavyweight champion. Of course, the 2023. Oh, wait a minute! Ball game, McIntyre off the Glasgow kiss. And that's gonna do it. No getting up from that, but Braun Breaker, tough as nails, gets the shoulder up. We've got a barn burner on our hands in Hot Lana tonight on SmackDown. Breaker able to get the shoulder up, but you can see he gets sent right over the top rope. How much life is left inside the body of Braun Breaker? Certainly being pushed to the 
Absolute limits tonight. A test of metal for Breaker here on SmackDown. McIntyre following the ringside this time, and he may be regretting it right now as Breaker, the strength out of that young man, the muscle up the 280 pounder, and the champion crash and burn on the floor of State Farm Arena. And things starting to break down in your main event. No love lost between these two superstars. Things are breaking down in the aisleway. Breaker throwing some haymakers, and oh my, on the concrete, he might have caught some of the steel of the ramp as well. Breaker and McIntyre, an absolute war tonight on SmackDown. And Braun just manhandling a world heavyweight champion. Now a game of cat and mouse, Breaker. Oh, and he got caught! He got caught with the Claymore kick! Sayonara! Braun Breaker, now he kicks out! Braun gets the shoulder up, you gotta be kidding me! And this is what the heart and soul of Friday Night SmackDown is all about. The absolute man in this business, the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre, the future of the business, and Braun Breaker fighting tooth and nails tonight for absolutely no more but opportunity and momentum. And Breaker trying to get back into this again, but McIntyre not gonna allow it. The World Champion might not have caught Breaker with that Claymore kick exactly how he wanted to. You saw us a little bit out of nowhere, but certainly some damage done. Oh, and now look at this, the strength by Drew. And a backbreaker, simple yet effective maneuver by the world heavyweight champion, and he makes it a dose. Man, you gotta look at this matchup, and you gotta believe Austin Theory as he prepares for his match against Edge next week in Oklahoma City, is watching this matchup right now against Drew McIntyre trying to wonder how he's gonna have to, what he's gonna have to bring to the dance at SummerSlam to try to keep down the World Heavyweight Champion. McIntyre has beaten the best. Austin Theory has proved he is a part of that best. Will he be able to become the champion on the 20th of August? That is the question we will find the answer to in 16 days. McIntyre sending a message. Braun Breaker might have kicked out of the first Claymore, but things are not done yet. Taking the fight to the outside. Now sending Breaker back inside the squared circle. He is reeling in pain at the moment. And I think McIntyre, wheels are spinning. We know what comes next. Claymore number two. Into the cover goes the champion. Big time victory for Drew McIntyre tonight on SmackDown. Well, that was certainly a born burner of a main event. It looks like a, a car wreck inside of that ring after these two heavyweights collided, but only one man leaving with their hand raised high, and that is the champion himself. Here's your winner, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre's success continues, waving the flag of Friday Night SmackDown. But will Drew McIntyre be able to retain that very World Heavyweight Championship in 16 nights? Uh oh, wait a minute. The number one contender, Austin Theory's in the ring. Oh, we got a little stare down here. The SummerSlam main event on behalf of SmackDown coming face to face. Will McIntyre be leaving Levi Stadium as World Heavyweight Champion? Or is Austin Theory's run at the top about to begin on the 20th of August? Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm around.